Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can highlight your mouse cursor onto your computer, which will look something like this. Many benefits of highlighting your mouse cursor. For example, suppose if you're screen sharing your screen in a meeting and then you want your audience to see what you're pointing to and what you're clicking on, having your cursor highlighted will make it so easy and transparent to them because they can see directly what they're looking at. Right? Having that halo around that cursor will make it really distinct. Highlighting your mouse cursor is also beneficial if you're screen recording your screen for a video or for some gaming. Now if you want to know how to do this, you're in the right place and the good news is that this is easily done and I'll be showing you guys two ways of how you can highlight your mouse cursor onto your PC. First method is the easier method and all we will do in that is upload a cursor file which is a .cur file and it's basically we're going to upload that cur file into Windows which will give it a halo effect which will give it the highlighted thing and basically the cur file is like a type of a PDF file it's like you know how your PDF files end in .pdf basically this cursor file ends in a .cur. The second method I'm going to show you is a bit more challenging because we will have to download and install a software which will allow us to customize our cursor. After downloading and installing the software, we will be able to customize our cursor, meaning we can change the color, the size of the halo, and we can also get rid of the halo altogether. And suppose if you're like writing something with a pen, you can, instead of having the cursor, you can upload a pen picture or some other picture and keep that as your cursor. I personally prefer the second method because it allows me to customize my cursor. But feel free to choose any method that you like. So I'll be linking some chapters down right here and you can easily click on them and jump to the point where I start one method or the other one. Regardless of which method you choose, rest assured that I'll be giving you guys detailed solutions for each method. Now with all that being said, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so the first method is without installing any software. All you have to do is first go to your Windows taskbar and then type mouse. And here is going to say mouse settings, click on that. And on the right side, right here, it's going to say mouse, additional mouse options. Click on that. And you're going to be prompted with this page with mouse properties. So what we're interested in is in the pointers. As you can see, there's a bunch of presets and these are all individual cursor files. But what we want to do is upload a cursor file, which includes a halo. And the way to do this is this. Over here, you see a scheme, which is pre-installed. And these are all the different functions or modes that you can have. For example, here is the Windows Black scheme. Here is the normal scheme. So what we can actually insert our own scheme with which has the halo. And I'll be showing you guys how you do that. And the way to do that is this. So the way to get the cursor file is to this website. It's called rw-designer.com. I know this site looks a bit outdated, but this site has all the information and all the cursor files that we need. So as you can see on the left side right here, our graphic software, which will allow you to customize and make your own halo for your own cursor. But what we're interested in is in a halo or highlighted cursor. And all you have to do for that is go to gallery right here. And here there's already a bunch of presets of cursors, but what we're interested in is in a halo. So I'm just going to type cursor. Highlight. And here we have different colors. For example, we have a yellow one, we have blue, green, I mean cyan, and yeah. And also there's a set right here. As you can see right here, we had a set. Basically, these are all different type of sets. For example, if we're trying to make this big, right, this is a different type of cursor pointer. So if you want to have a halo on all of those, we can just download this set. But to make things easier, I'm just going to download this specific pointer for the halo. I'm going to click on download. As you can see, it's a cursor file, which is C-U-R, and it's just completely safe. And the download has started. Just open it. Alright, so I found where the file is downloaded and I can just leave this file right here and then upload it directly to the windows for the mouse settings or I can put it in where all my other mouse cursor files are stored and since I'm organized, I'm going to do that. So where all my mouse cursor files are stored is in my windows folder. Just going to go to my C drive and then go down to windows and here we have cursors. And as you can see, I have all my cursor files. So let me go back to my download. Let me just do 
cut, let me cut this. And then let's go back to my Windows folder. Then go to the subfolder for cursors and then paste it. This will need administrative access because you're modifying a Windows folder. So click allow or click on continue. And once that's done, we're going to go back to our mouse properties or mouse settings right here. And we're going to click on browse. And then we're going to just find our highlight cursor file that we just downloaded. I can just do date modified and then click on this and then click on open. And as you can see, it has uploaded and then we can just click on apply. But first we have to save a name for the scheme. And as you can see, I've applied the hello for the mouse I'm using this built-in mouse properties in the windows. And it looks like this. An additional thing that you want to do is save a scheme for this highlight cursor in case you want to turn this off later on. So all you have to do that is click on save as and then choose a name for your scheme. I'll just In this case, I'll just choose highlight cursor. Click on OK. And here, I just click on apply to so save the scheme. And suppose now if I want to just do the default scheme, go click on none and then click on apply. And now I'm back to the normal cursor. And suppose I want to add the halo again, just click on highlight, click on apply. And there we go, this is the first method of how you can insert a halo onto your PC screen. Alright guys, so this is the second method of how you can install a halo cursor. So let me first just turn off this halo right here. Alright, so this is the site where you can install the software which you can use to customize your halo. And change the size, change the color, change like the image. If you, if you don't want the halo. This site is developed by a professor at a university who teaches chemistry, but we can use this software. So what we want to do is scroll down to where it says cursor highlighter version 2.2. If we install this software, first we have to install an additional software called auto hotkey. So we're going to click on this link right here. Auto hotkey is basically a type of file format in which the software for the highlighting cursor and customizing it is written in. So we, we need this software before we can download that software. So click on download. And then we're going to choose a version. Just click on download the current version. And the download is finished. Once we have done that, we can go back to this professor website. And now we can download the auto hotkey file. Click on that. And this, he's basically put inserted this in the Google Drive, so I'm going to download it. And the download has started, and it's finished. So we're going to do open in folder, or show in folder. And we already have this installed. Now that we have both hot, auto hotkey and the cursor highlights screw downloaded, we want to set up hotkey. So I'm going to double tap on it, or click on open. And we're going to click on Express Installation. And then, as you can see, installation complete. Click Exit. And then just click and open the source code for the software. And just click on Yes. And boom, the auto highlight cursor software is enabled. And now, as you can see, I have a halo around it. But now we're going to actually like customize it. All right, so to customize our cursor, we have to go to the taskbar down in the taskbar right here and then open up the tray and then as you can see we have cursor highlighter and it has a cursor image and then we're gonna right click on it and then we're gonna open up the settings and here we do the customization so let me first show you the most important things that you can so we have the default right now the color highlight Second one is a picture file. So suppose if you're, you're sharing your screen and you have this, if you're writing something, you can do the pen. The second one is a focus, which will like invert it. So let's go back to the cursor highlight. Next, we have the highlight settings. So we can change the color of it. I like blue. It is soothing. So we have blue right here. And then we can change the opacity. As you can see this is extremely light you can't see or we can make it extremely open. 
And then we can change the width. Tell me just change like the opacity to like 125. And then we can change the width of this, width and height. Next, we have the highlighter left click. So this is making it a little bit fancy. So for example, if you left click on something, right now nothing will happen. So if I do this, now if I left click, the cursor, the highlighted picture will go away. But now with this, I can actually change the color. So suppose if I left click now, boom, the color changes. So I can actually change the color of this also. And now, then same thing for right click. Next is the picture setting. So suppose, as I showed right here in the general, the picture file, I can change the settings, change the color. So right now, by default, it's a pen, but I can actually insert my own picture. The next is the focus settings, which I again showed earlier in the general. And the next are hotkeys. The hotkeys is basically, supposed to be want to like temporarily like stop the cursor highlighting or temporarily turn it on instead of actually having to open up the app and then customizing it, we can do it directly from here. So for example, let me just do, turn my hotkey as a alt control and A. We have to click on save and then boom, as you can see it disappeared. Press it again and it comes back. And then we can actually delete this or that we click on done. And the next thing is suppose you want to just stop this temporarily, we can just click on this cursor highlighter and it stopped. So, and then we can turn it back on. And then it's supposed to be want to like exit out of the app, we can just right click on it and click on exit cursor highlighter. So yeah, this is the second method how you can insert a cursor or a highlighter cursor onto your PC. And yeah, feel free to experiment with the app and choose a setting of what you like. Two ways that you can insert a highlighted cursor onto your screen and remember all the links that I showed you in this video will be in the description below so you can easily click on it. So there you have it guys. You know how you can highlight your mouse cursor onto your computer and if this video helped you remember to give it a like and share this video with friends and family and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more tech tutorials out there and comment down below any questions or problems that you may have and I'll try my best to reply to them and you can also leave any tech related comments and I'll also try to answer them and that's it for this video check out my previous videos for joining the screen as they're really good and beneficial and also investing.